this is a quick tip for Azure. What we wanted to do in this case was have the business fill out a spreadsheet and when they'd finished filling out that spreadsheet, um, set off a process which would load the data, say, into a table or whatever. Um, we were going to use Excel online so it was easy for them to get into rather than uploading a full spreadsheet. Um, but we needed to know when they were finished with the data. Um, so there is in Logic Apps and Flow, you could use the SharePoint um, trigger to say when a file is created or modified, then do something which is fine, but if they're going through this spreadsheet and they don't know quite when they're finished, um, so they might come back to it later asking uh, after asking somebody a question or maybe they've gone for a cup of tea. When they get back, then they finished it. We need to know when that's done. So what we needed was some kind of button within the spreadsheet that would indicate when they were finished and to initiate that action. Um, Excel online doesn't support buttons of any type, but what you can do is use background and borders to make it look like a button and then put a shape on top for an icon and then hyperlink it. And you've got your hyperlink in here and that hyperlink is actually going into a logic app. So what we've done here is create a new logic app with a method of a get request and then they pass in a spreadsheet ID. So you, you set up that spreadsheet ID. It, that allows you to kind of have a flow in here uh, as a receiver for a number of different spreadsheets and uh, not just the one that you're going to deal with one time. Um, what we then do is send back a 200 response with some content. So it gives them a nice, when they click on it, it'll, it'll, it'll open a new tab and then it will tell them uh, a thank you message. Like that. And obviously you can style that up to do whatever you want. But that then triggers that logic app to do what you need to do with that data. You, maybe you go through and cleanse that data, send it off for authorization or whatever. It's quite a neat little trick um, to get that kind of finished trigger into your, uh, into your workflow. That's it.